running for a reason. One man participating in the Pittsburgh Marathon this weekend is honoring his fallen comrades and raising awareness for other vet veterans. And he's doing it all even after losing his leg. We want to thank uh, Kevin Bittenbender for joining us today. And tell us about your journey to get here, to get to the Pittsburgh Marathon. Well, it's been a long journey. It started uh, back in 2015. Uh, I started having an amputation in my, my lower limb. Uh, and Hope for the Warriors uh, gifted me with a hand cycle. And uh, so I did the Pittsburgh Group Marathon, it was my first marathon, uh, on a hand cycle. And uh, I've hand cycled it since, uh, since 2015. And uh, this past year, um, I unfortunately had to uh, lose my leg and, uh, due to burn pit exposure. Oh, wow. And, uh, so and this is from last year? Is this this actually is uh, from up in uh, New York. Uh, okay. this is, that's actually uh, one of the, that's Pittsburgh, or no, that's Marine Corps Marathon. Uh, that's the Pittsburgh Marathon last year, and uh, wow. the weather is a lot better this year it uh, is, than it yeah. is from last year. <laughs> um, that was up in New York, but since then I've been uh, really engaged in, in hand cycling, uh, and then losing my leg uh, actually February 17th of last year. Uh, my surgeon came and asked me, you know, what my goals were, and uh, I told her I said, well, I'm going to be doing the Pittsburgh Marathon last year. Uh, it was like less than 90 days from losing my leg, and. Um, she was very apprehensive. She's like, well, you're not gonna run it. And I said, no, I'm gonna hand cycle it. So I hand cycled it last year. And uh, I said, well, this year I want to, uh, I want to run it. And uh, I put the challenge out to her, uh, my surgeon, and uh, she's actually gonna run it with me this year. That's incredible. It's, uh, and it will be 444 days exactly uh, on Sunday uh, since losing my leg. And so, you know, this is, this is important for you to do this. Mm -hmm for the people who you served with, yes. for people who did not come home. Yes. Walk us through that experience because I think it, at times we take it for granted what happens and the sacrifices you've made. So on the 27th of, uh, of August of 2007, I lost uh, three of my, uh, my best friends, uh, Major Hank Officier, uh, Master Sergeant Scott Ball, and Sergeant Janner Ganesh. And that's uh, Major Officier in the middle. And uh, he, uh, he asked me on the 26th of August uh, what my legacy, uh, what I would want my legacy to be. And I said to him, I, you know, I guess I want to leave it the world better than what I find it. Yeah. And um, he was always one for uh, critical thinking. And he asked me, uh, are you sure that's all you want to say? <laughs> and uh, so he, instead of getting into a bigger, um, uh, bigger conversation with him, uh, I asked him, I said, you know, can we take this conversation up another time? And he's like, yeah, absolutely. Well, on the 27th, uh, Major Fissier was killed. That next day. Next day. And I never had the opportunity to finish that conversation. And the longest time that haunted me uh, with that survivor's guilt. And um, I contemplated suicide on many occasions oh. and um, fighting those demons. Um, and hope for the warriors uh, were fortunate to be there for me to help me on that path of uh, recovery and uh, getting me uh, involved in, uh, in sports and uh, getting me involved in, and back into the community. Yeah. So um, like uh, this is my running leg that I'm gonna actually be running with. Uh, it's the Iron City colors, as you can tell. Yeah. The, uh, but on the inside of my, my prosthetics, um, my team down at Walter Reed uh, put my mantra in. So and it says- uh, Live a life worth their sacrifice. Yes. So every time I put my leg on, um, in the morning, that's uh, that's what first thing I see, and uh, and it gets my mindset for the for that day. Yeah. So. And tell me who you brought here with you. So this is Kirby. Uh, this is my service dog. Um, Kirby was sponsored uh, uh, through America's Vet Dogs. He is a uh, two. He just turned two May second. So wish him a happy birthday. Happy birthday. He uh, he is uh, <laughs> he was sponsored by the the Houston Texans. So Pittsburgh, please do not get mad, <laughs> all right? But there is an opportunity that if, uh, if Pittsburgh, uh, the Pirates or the sports team here in the Iron City wants to step up and, uh, and sponsor a puppy, I think that'd be awesome, it'd be amazing. And, um, but uh, Kirby is uh, trained for PTSD and as well as my mobility dog. Yeah. So he, uh, he helps me upstairs, uh, gets my wheelchair if I need it and stuff, so. You mentioned um, why you lost your leg, but what has that process been like adjusting to this? I mean, did you know this was coming? Did you know this day was coming? I didn't. It's, uh, I, uh, I incurred an infection uh, in my leg uh, from, uh, from previous amputations, mm -hmm. and it exacerbated into uh, a decision that, you know, they had to take the leg 
uh, in order for me to actually live. So it's, it was a, a sepsis type situation. Right. And um, so uh, the team at Walter Reed has been amazing. Uh, the team at, at Hope for the Warriors has, uh, has been along with me um, every step of the way, no pun intended. And this is you practicing here? Yeah, actually this is at Walter Reed, uh, down at Walter Reed Medical Center at the, uh, what they call the MAT-C. And that's uh, one of the first, uh, first laps I did. Uh, my physical therapist, uh, Laura, uh, took the video of me. Uh, and that was actually, yeah, my first, uh, first steps as, uh, as running. Wow. And you're doing the full marathon? Are you doing the full marathon? Yes. You know, it, I'm just thinking, you know, uh, that no one out there can say they can't do it. No. Watching you sit not. here right now and training for this and going through what you've gone through to say that you can't do it, it's, it doesn't seem. No. And I know that my teammates uh, that I lost are going to be with me along this journey. Yeah. But I have a, a great support group that's going to be running with me as well. Uh, I'm really looking forward to, uh, to doing this. So it's, uh, it's, it's probably the hardest marathon that's, that's in the country. Uh, Pittsburgh is the hilliest. Yes, it is. Okay? <laughs> so uh, don't let anyone kid you about that. And it's just, it, I, just love the, uh, I just love this marathon. It's, it's, it's awesome. The people out on the streets just uh, clapping and, and uh, motivating you along the way, it would be great to see everyone out there on Sunday. You know, we, we wanted you to come here and bring us some inspiration, tell us more about what you're doing and, and hope for the Warriors. But if there's a message that you could give to people out there about what we all should be doing to support veterans, what is it? Reach out to them. Um, encourage them to talk to you. Um, you can thank them for your service, and, uh, and that's, that's awesome to do. But let them know that you have their back, that you have their six, as we say in the military, and um, that you're willing to listen and, uh, and get them the help that they need. And, and any veterans that are out there, um, I've, I fight my demons on a daily basis, yeah. and uh, I'm here to tell you that they're winnable. So take the opportunity, pick the phone up, call. Um, the crisis hotline, it's easy to text, 988. Dial one if you are a veteran, and it'll put you right in touch with a, a fellow veteran to talk to. So, thank you very much. I you are an inspiration, it. and I I'm so touched and moved by your story. So, thank you thank for joining us. I today. appreciate you having me on.